Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome to this stretch and strengthen, focusing on the core, hip flexors and arms. We're going to begin by lying on our mat and then bending both knees, extend one leg to the ceiling. Make sure your hips stay nice and level, so they're not rocking or hitching, and your supporting knee is pointing up to the ceiling. The extended leg is going to do small circles going outwards. This is going to strengthen the hip flexor. Then we're going to do a pelvic roll up, extend the leg, and we're going to pulse the hips upwards. We're then going to do some grand back more in this pelvic lift and then roll back down. Off we go with our leg circles. The movement should be slow and smooth keeping your core very still. This is an excellent exercise for lower back pain as well. It doesn't matter how high the leg is, you want to make sure that the movement is controlled and the knee is straight. Now lower the leg back down and we'll do the same on the other side. If you want to check that your hips aren't moving, you can place your hand on the opposite hip to the leg that's extended. and lower back down. Now breathing in, peeling off the hips as you breathe out, and now extending the leg to the sky. You'll also feel this in the glutes. Now for our grand back more, making sure the foot doesn't touch the floor, and you're keeping the alignment in your pelvic lift. This is also a great exercise for core strength. Again, it doesn't matter how high the leg goes here, it's more about the placement. And rolling back down. Take a moment to rest and roll back up again. We'll repeat everything on the other leg. So starting with our pulses. And our grand back more. Don't let the hips drop or twist. and roll back down. Hug your knees and rest your back. Now going up onto your side, onto your knee, we're going to do some hip hitches and extensions. Lifting the hips and opening up the top knee, you're going to hitch the knee up, extend the leg down, and then move the leg forward, tapping the toe, and then back to where it was. Okay, lifting the hips, off we go. Open, hitch, tap forwards and back. Hitch, extend, tap forwards and back. Make sure that your hips don't drop at all, that you're lifting in the waist, breathing normally, and there's no arch in your back. You have a nice neutral spine.
And now moving on to the other side, to repeat everything on the other leg. Find your position, check your alignment, and off we go. This exercise is great for strengthening both the hip flexors and the hip rotators, as well as working on your core strength. and relax down. So for our next exercise, we're going to go into a side plank with one foot in front of the other, propped up onto your elbow, and then extending your top arm, you're going to curl it underneath and then back out. So here we're working on the obliques as well as our core strength. Off we go. Again, it's important to maintain your alignment throughout, so make sure there's a nice straight line going up through the body and you're not dropping the hips. You can combine this movement with the breath, so breathing out as you curl, breathing in as you extend. And now repeat on the other side. Keep the hips stacked on top of each other, so there's no rocking backwards or forwards. We're now going to do a front plank, but we're going to keep the body moving with a retire and an extension, alternating legs. If you want to do a modified version of this, you can lower yourself down onto your elbows. Bring the knee in, extend and lower. So keep the spine neutral and the neck long, hands underneath your shoulders. Now stretching out the arms, bring one arm across and pull it in. And do the same on the other side. Now onto one of my favourite exercises, we're going to do some leg taps. The leg lifts, you carry it to the side, up and over, tap across the standing leg and repeat, keeping the hips level and still. This is a wonderful exercise for hip flexor strength as well as control of movement and core strength. We're also working on our arabesque here. So if you are looking to improve your flexibility with extensions to the back, this is gonna be a great exercise for you. You want to imagine your hip bones are facing down to the floor. It's important to lift the leg up and over as you switch sides. And now repeat everything on the other side.
for the ballet dancers watching this, this is also going to improve any kind of extension or for example, rond de jambe en l'air going from the back to the side or from the side to the back. Circling your wrists, bringing the blood back to them, give them a little break. And you can pull your fingers gently for a stretch. We have one more plank in this series. Again, we're going to keep moving throughout this exercise. You're going to push yourself up onto your hands and then back down onto your elbows. So you can go up with the right, up with the left, back down on the left, down on the right. We're going to do 10 of these. Keeping the body moving during a plank means that we're not holding any tension by squeezing and locking a plank position and it also gives us the opportunity to work on a different part of the body as well as working on our core strength. Now stretch out in child's pose and relax. Moving on to our triceps, with your hands behind you, elbows pointing back and knees bent, we're going to bend the elbows and drop the hips down. It's important not to just move the hips, the movement must come from bending the elbows and stretching them. If this is a bit too much, you can do this seated. And it's crucial that the elbows are pointing backwards as you bend them and not out to the side. We're going to do 10 of these. and relax. Stretch out the arms, bring one arm across and look in the opposite direction. And now on the other side. Now, an exercise for the hip flexors. This is a really difficult one. With your arms above your head, you're going to lift your legs up, open them to the side, and then up again, opening them out even further then reverse the movement back in. If doing this with your hands off the floor is too difficult, you can put your hands resting behind you. We're going to do five of these. Try to keep your knees straight, your neck long, your shoulders down, and your spine tall. If you can turn out the legs, even better. And relax. Moving on to our stretch. We're going to start by stretching out the arms as they've worked hard today. So turning the hands in and then pushing back between the shoulder blades, dropping the chin down. And I'll circle one arm all the way around to the back and switch to the other side. In butterfly position, with your knees out to the side, feet together, you're going to bring the forehead all the way down to the feet. Relax in this position.
and rest in child's pose. Moving on to our frog stretch with the soles of your feet together or you can flex the feet and bring the heels together. You're going to try to push the heels down to the floor with the knees open to the side. Be careful not to let the hips lift. Off we go, pushing the feet down and hold. Relax, take a break and let's go again. Now for a back stretch, with your arms by your shoulders, push all the way up and try and lift your nose to the ceiling. Breathe normally and keep your shoulders down. Now stretching the arm, you're going to hold onto your foot and push up again in a back stretch. You don't want to twist the arm by holding onto the foot. So the palm should be facing down and just touching your toes. Now for a side stretch, bring the arm up to fifth and then exhale as you stretch to the side. Curve the body forwards, drop the chin down, and we'll repeat everything on the other side. Moving on to our lunge sequence, you're going to lunge all the way forwards to stretch out the hip flexor, hands either side of your front foot. Then for a deeper stretch, you're going to push up onto your toes and stretch the back leg. Relax the knee back down and for a quad stretch you're going to pick up the foot. If you want an even deeper stretch, the opposite hand to your foot can pull it in gently. Now kneeling back up with your legs stretched out, we're going to do a hamstring stretch, reaching the arms up, bringing the fingers forwards and relaxing the head down. You can flex the foot here for a deeper stretch. And roll back up. Now just one more lunge, but this time tucking the pelvis and pushing forwards. You won't be able to go as far this time with the pelvis tucked. You can place your hands on your knee. This should be a much deeper hip flexor stretch. And now repeating everything on the other side. Starting with our deep lunge. Now relax and move on to your front. Stretching out the quads, picking up your foot and pulling the heel into your leg. 
If this isn't a deep enough stretch, you can lift the knee off the floor. And now switch to the other leg. Opening the knees out to a second position. Propping yourself up on your elbows, you're going to push back and let the knees open to the side. This is a great hip opener and a release for our hip flexors. Stretching the arms, we're going to bring one arm up, one arm under, and try and meet the fingers together in the middle. Keep the back as long as you can. And now switch over sides. One last stretch for the hips, you're going to stand up, bend the knees and with your hands push the knees backwards. You're then going to drop one shoulder down to the floor and twist the upper body slightly and alternate sides. Keep pushing the knees back with your hands. This is also a great stretch if you're working on your box splits or if you're looking to improve your turnout. And that concludes our stretch for today. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out the other stretch and strengthen workouts in this series.